Retro game is back in fashion, but you don't need a gimmicky mini console to play old classics on a modern HDTV. You can actually connect your NES, SNES, PS1, PS2, N64 and any other old console to your modern HD and UHD TV. To do this, you need to know which cable is best for the job, so this guide will show you. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is how to connect an old game console to a new HDTV. With the likes of Nintendo's NES and SNES classic flying off store shelves, it's safe to say that retro gaming is as popular as ever. From the early days of Nesticle to the popular DIY RetroPie and Recalbox builds of today, video game emulation has enabled older gamers to relive their childhoods and younger gamers a chance to experience the classics. As great as that is, Video game emulation has some significant drawbacks. Laggy controls, glitches and poor colour reproduction are all potential symptoms of emulation. If you're a purist looking to recapture the thrill of the bit wars, then your only option is to get your hands on the real deal. So you dig through your closet and dust off your old console. You can practically hear the Super Mario Brothers theme song. There's just one problem. There's no way to actually connect the console to your modern TV. Check the ports on your TV. OK, take a deep breath. There's no sense in making a mountain out of a molehill. Double check the ports on your TV. You may be able to connect your old console directly to your shiny new TV without any hassle. This will most likely be the case with systems that connect to your TV via RCA, composite, components or coaxial cables. RCA components. RCA cables are designated by three pin connectors, one white, one red and one yellow. Component cables, on the other hand, are coloured green, red and blue. If your TV has ports with corresponding colours, you're in business. Be aware, however, that you may need to fiddle with the picture settings on your TV. Most modern TVs will default to a widescreen aspect ratio, which will result in a stretched out image. When playing a role games, you'll want to switch it to a 4-3 aspect ratio. Coaxial. If your console uses a coaxial connector like the NES, you should be able to connect to your TV. This type of connection is common on older consoles, especially those from the 70s and 80s. Coaxial uses the antenna input on your TV to deliver both audio and video signals from your console. To get it working, you'll need to tune your TV to the appropriate channel, and just remember to use the analog, not digital tuner of your TV. RCA to HDMI converter. If your TV doesn't have any of the ports mentioned above, you're going to need to shell out for an RCA to HDMI adapter. These affordable boxes will take the analog signal of your old console and convert it to a digital one that can be fed into your TV via HDMI. Furthermore, they're super simple to set up. All you need to do is plug in the red, white and yellow RCA cables of your retro console into the adapter and connect it to your TV via HDMI. There are tons of these on the market and most are well under $20. S-Video to HDMI Converter Many video game consoles made after the 16-bit, say the SNES or Genesis generation, had the ability to output via S-Video. Generally speaking, S-Video is capable of better quality video output. That being said, you may find differing opinions online. If you like to use an S-Video connection, there are converters that will upscale the signal to HDMI. They work in exactly the same manner as the RCA converter I mentioned just now. SCART to HDMI Converter Since SCART or SCART was much more common in Europe than the States, this is more applicable to viewers in Europe. Of course, those stateside always have the option of using an RGB to SCART or SCART cable. Either way you slice it, you'll need to convert the analog SCART signal to HDMI. Fortunately, SCART to HDMI converters are readily available online. Use a VCR or DVD player. This method is likely to result in a whole mess of cables, leaving your retro game console looking like it's on live support. However, if you tried all of the above suggestions without any luck, this method might just be the ticket. If your DVD or VHS player has composite, component or coaxial inputs on the back, you can use them as a pass-through connection to your TV. Simply connect your console to the DVD VHS player and change your TV's input to the channel for the DVD VHS player. Modern consoles that play retro cartridges. 
Hyperkin's Retron series of video game consoles allows users to use their own retro game cartridges and controllers. For instance, the Retron 5 is capable of playing NES, SNES, Genesis, Super Famicom, Famicom, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance cartridges. Furthermore, you won't have to faff around with converters as the Retron outputs audio-visual signals via HDMI. For those of you with deep pockets, Analog makes high-end modern versions of your favourite retro consoles. Purists may scoff as you won't be playing your old games on the original hardware, but it's one of the easiest ways to play your old games on your new TV. What's your preferred method of connecting your retro game console to a modern TV? Let us know in the comments. Okay, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.